Hi there, my name is Thomas Pickett. Are you searching for a new home? Why, of course you are. Have you considered buying a house on the great, magical, extraordinary, magnificent, remarkable, and even phenomenal Morse Canal? Why, of course you have. This receptacle of beauty runs across northern New Jersey from Phillipsburg to Jersey City and brings a substantial amount of features along with it. Let's take a look. Lots of general stores, iron forges, furnaces, factories, and more are built along the canal to provide goods and services to folks on and around the canal. Towns are highly productive and produce a lot of materials. The establishments along the river put what the canal boats transport to good use, bringing coal and pig iron across our great state. Take Lock 7 West, for instance, also known as Breadlock Park. Who doesn't love fresh bread and pies? There are plenty of fantastic towns built on the canal, including Phillipsburg, Hackettstown, Montville, and Patterson. Patterson, for example, not only has an abundant supply of water, good land, an excellent meat and vegetable market, and easy access to New York with a turnpike road and a railroad, but there are 12 blacksmiths, one sawmill, one gristmill, four turning and bobbin factories, one cotton wadding manufactory, four machine factories, and two extensive brass and iron foundries. In towns like Hackettstown and Dover, Many houses made of brick and wood are found, as well as taverns, stores, churches, and schoolhouses. Surrounding cities are growing fast here in the mid-1800s. Wouldn't it be a real pleasure to live in a place so similar? The canal is a true wonder for folks everywhere. It's a popular attraction for European visitors. Francis Trollope, an English visitor, was absolutely astounded and wrote that the canal proves the people of America to be the most enterprising in the world. Isn't that fantastic? There are a lot of perks that come with foreign visitors. Learn the languages, get cultured, look, as we say here in 1840, cool. Another quote Francis gave was, There is no point in the national character of the Americans which commands so much respect as the boldness and energy with which public works are undertaken and carried through. Nothing stops them if a profitable result can be fairly hoped for. It is this which has made cities spring up amidst the forest with such inconceivable rapidity, and could they once be thoroughly persuaded that any point of the ocean had a horde of dollars beneath it, I have not the slightest doubt that in about 18 months we should see a snug covered railroad leading direct to the spot. This is basically her long-winded way of saying that Americans are pretty awesome, and that the Morris Canal is just another feat of our greatness. And who wouldn't think the canal is great? The full length is 102 miles, of course, and the highest elevation is 914 feet above sea level. The overall change in elevation is 1,674 feet, which can only occur with the help of the ingenious 23 incline planes and 23 lift locks and 11 guard locks. The one-way trip time is only five days, which I'd say is pretty remarkable, and a great bragging point when all your friends ask about your new house. Now all you future homeowners, we hope to see you on the Morris Canal. And be sure to take the video quiz that'll pop up right now.